We don't have too much time, but if you have to be very short and concise about what was for you, the main outcome of this summit, what would it be? I think the main outcome is that every country, including the United States, needs to be clear about teacher quality. What is the definition? It's very complex. It's not going to be solved in one day or by one metric or one measure or one program or one school. Oh, yeah. But it's a question that countries need to grapple with and move forward on. And so we were very excited to share that we have an agreement about transforming the teaching profession that really systematically sets the goal, the purpose, the mission, and the outcomes that we'd like to see with our partners, with our unions, with our faculty, with many, many stakeholders. Okay, thanks so much, Mrs. Kenter. Uh, I think this transformation is something uh, of one of the two themes we'd like to discuss later on, so we're going to discuss this transformation later on. Uh, Mr. Guria, can I ask you what for you is the most important outcome you would like to share with us today, uh, this afternoon, about the summit? Well, first of all, there's a lot of group therapy uh, because we all share uh, many concerns and that goes for the practitioners, for the international organizations and for the unions. It's always good and to share uh, then, eh? Sharing. So we yeah. share by sharing, we all feel better. You know, at the end, you, you, you get on the couch in a way. And, uh, we're now the, in the, in the, on the couch here, you know, the... the <laughs> now a the, public the, couch. The second, the second question is that uh, you, you strengthen your convictions, you know, you know you have, you, you have some intuitions and, and you have problems and you have challenges, but you come here and you check that other people have the same problems, what they're doing, what they've done about it. They're in different stages of development. They've solved some of these things. You go back with a stronger commitment, with a stronger conviction, with a better sense of what the roadmap is about. And last but not least, you, you find solutions that probably you did not have in uh, your uh, own uh, thought process and that were beyond you and now because you met with the network you create the networks here and uh, these networks allow you to be you know on guard all the time uh, every day uh, i would say the ultimate uh, is that it's not about whether we do teacher evaluation but how we do it how we do it best in order to get the better outcomes uh, on the education policies. Okay, I think this is something of the second team we would like to discuss later on uh, during our discussion. Let's go to Mrs. Hopgood. How would you define for yourself the most important outcome of this summit? Um, well, I think um, very much that, um, you know, we believe we've made tremendous progress uh, in the debate about the evaluation of teachers, um, but that it's not just been about uh, evaluation, that it's also uh, been talking about the overall policy on on uh, teachers and education policies, and that for us is very, very important. You know, we, we address the issues of uh, formative and, s and summative appraisal, the fact that they're different, um, but it's important that competency procedures and compensation, while they can be part of appraisal, they should, they, that they could not be part of appraisal, they should be excluded. Um, and, and I suppose that's one of the interesting uh, discussions that was had throughout the whole of the summit. You know, is there a distinction between feedback between teachers and formal appraisal? Um, you know, we believe yes. Feedback has to be part of professional activity. It's part of a collaborative culture. And, uh, you know, for us, the issue of uh, a formal appraisal must demonstrate to teachers that it's going to add to the value of their work. That's a very important issue. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much, Mrs. Hopgood. That's very interesting, this collaborative nature of, of the work. So something which was really discussed also here in the glassroom in the last two days. Mm. Uh, Mrs. Bussemark.